Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome back to another indie game impression. Today's is actually one I might be doing a series on if there's a lot of interest. So, this is Hell Sign. So with Phasmophobia being around, you may have seen it, that's the four person online ghost hunting game. I thought I'd revisit a other, much more different ghost hunting game. So for those who don't know, Phasmophobia is about four people taking pictures. You're the scout team. You basically have to find three pieces of evidence and figure out what the ghost is. In this game, you're the scout hunter. Basically, the first team is sent in and you're the guy who figures it out. Now, there's similar kind of things. In Phasmophobia, you have to find three pieces of evidence. In Hellsign, you have to like, kind of use a black light to follow ectoplasm on the ground to find signs. The signs lead you to what kind of ghost it is. And there's also cryptids, so there's demony creatures which you can kill. And then there's ghosts, so you have to use special ghost equipment and killing gear to fight. I'm going to go uh, Breacher for the health. And I'm just going to go in. So yeah, it, there's multiple different classes, sort of different skills and different equipment. So you buy equipment. Uh, I'm not going to skip this tutorial. Now do you fight the enemy? Skip this. I'm, I'm holding it. Yep, you're showing me. Now, so each time you go to a house, well it's randomised. So there's multiple different places and levels of difficulty. You start off with easy ones. Aha, good. That was a long load. So you start off by driving to randomised houses and things. Now, in the tutorial, there's two guys telling you what to do. Okay. But yeah. Mate, you scout, yep. Okay, so it's basically just looks to scout out and teach us how to play the game. Now, you usually have a main weapon and a sidearm. But you also have equipment. Oh, over here. So that's the for sign using F. Huh. What was that? I didn't know you could do that. That was new. That was never in my tutorial. And you find signs. There's some signs just basic evidence like rope or markings or fur. But what you're actually after is proper signs like ectoplasm or blood. And then you have a book to figure out what ghost it is. What well, if actually updated the game? Oh no, they updated the game a lot. It's changed. Uh oh. So you have black lights like this. You can see? This is showing us something here. Then you press F and you hunt for signs. And there's things in here. But yeah, you follow the markings which come and go. And you try and figure out where stuff is. But yeah, this this is different. Kendall interference is these things. Which is obviously the corruption of the ghost. But there's multiple different types. There's also cryptids. Oh no, they've changed how this works. And you have to figure out where it's coming from. But yeah, as you can see, there's ghost markings everywhere. As you get further in, you get more difficult uh, things. The first one is find signs. The second one is find signs in a haunted house. And like the third one is start deploying traps and equipment to defeat the ghost in there. So, but there's a more combat oriented. Ah, they use trails to put to near his sign. Okay, so that means that's this way then. The sign should be here. Oh, it's upset with me. Got it. So yeah, you find the markers from the bones and then you follow them, which is actually very new. Before you didn't have to, before you just found signs randomly. Now the markers lead to signs. That's new, but it should be here somewhere. Where is it? And as you can see, they're not always in exactly the same place. There we go, found blood. So there's another body in here somewhere. There's a spectrometer. A metal buzz when the, the signs are doesn't work near tendrils. So it's over here. Wait, the buzzing. Where's the buzzing? And this is how you find it. Obviously, when you're doing stuff like this, you're quite, quite weak to enemies. 
Obviously, I can't unlock the doors right now. This is a tutorial. So, you want to make sure the cryptids are out of the place. Like spiders, massive centipedes. You can unlock new things as you go... Through. And obviously, the longer you're in, the more upset the ghost becomes. So, you really want to find everything before it tries to kill you. Where's the final one? It's here somewhere. Here? Got it. And that's all we have to do, collect the signs. Which, as you can see, is already getting a little bit creepy. Okay, Bandit, let's do your damn job. Oops. And they've changed how signs work, I'm not a fan of that. Now, the signs, of course, these are basic ones. You press J, and this it shows you. So you get evidence and clues. So let's just go, see these are basic, doll. And then you use the evidence and the clues to figure out what it is. And as you can see, there's four different stages. So you get better or worse gear as time goes by. Now the clues themselves have different symbols and markings. Like, you have to go and find where this is and what it looks like. See, structural is, this is a struggle, you have to look for this. I'm looking for this blood mark to figure out what it is. And the other evidence will help me figure it out. So that looks like, maybe directional. Yeah, I think it's directional. Which would give me a banshee. And that's it. So obviously this is just them doing the job. Usually you'll be on your own. I do think this game would be very good with multiplayer. And there's equipment in the back of the trunk. You like have multiple different weapons, items, ammo, traps. But you can only hold at any one time a primary and a secondary. Obviously a few bits of gear. We've also leveled up. Now you can do the missions as much as you like, obviously they get paid, but there's a bar, there'll be your home base, there'll be a munitions purchasing up here, and as the map just washes it, you can see jobs appear and disappear with different stars. One star is find a couple of signs, two stars is find all the signs, avoid the ghost, three stars is get rid of the ghost. So it starts getting tougher. But obviously right now I'm just doing this, this guy will um... This woman will do missions with you for the main story, this guy is just here for the tutorial, this guy will do gambling with you and this one you can sell your signs to and also buy information about the cryptids and the spectres. Where's my money? Okay. So yeah, that guy in the corner, I know you, look like you're from around here. I'm going to sell some signs. Banjo, yeah. So this guy will sell me things. There we go, got the signs, yes. As you can see, base, the higher the ranking of the item, the more money you get. This is just basic rubbish. I've made barely anything. But if I wanted to, I could buy the Megalopede entry. I could buy blood crawlers, ghouls. As you can see, there's a lot of horrible things. Shadow Beast, Hellbound, Tentacle, Red Hatch, Spider, Mr. Mephistopheles. That's like one of the Lords of Hell. Door Mimic. That's new. How's all the bit of Door Mimic? Oh, cool. I look forward to panicking. So yeah, there's a lot of cryptids and things obviously get tougher and tougher as you go through. As you can see, you can check your gear. You can build things if you have anything. You can check my um, things. I right now only have the spider. I will learn about the megalopedes very soon. You can also see I only have access to two poltergeists. The banshee and the kelpie. This one's aggressive. This one's aggressive. And each one has different weaknesses and strengths. You have to know what they are when you're actively trying to kill them. So as you can see, this shows the signs. So you can learn about what they're doing and how to get rid of them. It's very in-depth and you'll be needing all this information to survive. Now each class starts at different areas of the tree. As you can see, there's not too much. Um, not too much at all, but yeah, you level up, you can unlock new things. This guy starts off with extra health and basic gadget use, it's not much. And let's go back to the bar and grab some work. And we'll find out about another area of the world. Which I personally love. Okay, give me a job. No, not you. Okay, you. Oh, what do you have in mind? Okay. This guy is just teaching me about the world. So now I get a bit of the guns and bait. 
Okay, Doofy, I'm looking for Puzzle Box. Give me this Banjo. Okay. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a scout. So you start off as a scout, then you become a hunter. That's how it works. But you can buy guns. As you can see, you unlock a lot more guns. As time goes by, you can get ammunition, equipment, health, uh, gear, and obviously special equipment so you can really figure out where the ghost and spectres are. There's a lot of stuff you can get, and obviously each spectre requires different equipment and traps depending on what you're fighting. Like the ammunition you're looking at is very different depending on what you're facing. Like ultraviolet, silver nitrate, incendiaries, yes, yeah, different things depending on what you're facing. So yeah, investigation is massively a big part of the game. But, come here. Thank you, I have reputation. Okay, so he's red back. Okay, so he's gonna give me a job, but he's not gonna pay me for it. Okay, you can see contracts, you pass contracts active, you have a field manual so you see what things are done. And you have proficiency in equipment. There is good, as you can see, here's the jobs like forensics, scouting is where you start getting attacked. Forensics is just finding signs. It gets tough. And here we are, on our own, in a house I am not used to. Every house is randomised, but yeah, I'm not used to it because all the signs and things, I obviously am not prepared for. This changed how the signs work. Before you just have to find the signs, there'd be these big glowing things on the floor. Like literally yesterday there were big glowing things on the floor. Now, however, they're not. So, cryptids attack in any room. You go to a room, it activates. So, they don't attack the neighbor tree. Obviously, there are more powerful ones out there. For some weird reason, these guys don't scare me. And, and you have to try and find them. But yeah, you break into rooms, they attack. There are more powerful ones and more groups. You saw how many cryptids there were. And usually, you can use a black light on corpses. And find out what they are. Or you're used to. Half my information immediately upon recording this is immediately out. I can't even use my black light. Ow. Got ya. Ah, now I'm learning. Okay, to corpse. Frame mate randomly dropped there to like 20 frames. Yeah, just here. Frame mate dropping here at 20 frames. There's something evil here. So, yeah, if you go find a corpse like we have by the door and do this, you can analyse a corpse for some of your battery power and you can reveal where the enemies are or find out what they are. So now I know that it's in one of the rooms. And it will show me the room. Yeah. There we go. It's over here, I imagine. Okay, yeah. The cryptids tab. We only have one. As you can see, they jump. They usually attack in pairs. So that's a petrol tap. Okay. You can also set lots of traps. So obviously, I have a petrol trap. And that's about it so far. Uh oh, my gun was out. So yeah, traps are very effective. They're also very expensive. Very expensive. Especially when you only make like five or six dollars a sign. So you want to do the more expensive jobs, find the more expensive signs. Luckily ammo is pretty cheap. And if you die, you do keep everything. But yeah, it gets creepy. Ow. Bloody things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that's a chill down. That never happened before. They've definitely changed how this game works a little bit. And I like it. Reload, reload, reload. 
Oh my god, I need a better gun. Oh, that bloody alarm sent chills down my spine. Just an alarm. So yeah, it gets creepy. Oh, you don't have to kick every door, I imagine. But yeah, there's also there's houses, different houses, farmhouses, regular houses. Um, there's entire forests you have to explore. And obviously the more dangerous the mission, the more evil and creepy it is. Especially when you get spectres who get really upset and start throwing things at you. Like cars. Oh! I'm going to get this! Which isn't something you're meant to be dealing with this early on, but it's just part of the storyline. Oh my god! Run, 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 run! Shadow beasts! Shadow beasts! Oh my god. I made $25 though. Oh, it gave me a cryptid bounty. That's neat. Before you only got paid for the signs. Shadow Beast, buy entry to unlock. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay. Let's go talk to Redback about the crazy thing he just tried to get me killed with. And that's what you do. Shadow Dimension. That's no big place. Don't Dimension you can only get with the Hell Sign. So, the Hell Sign is how you go to Shadow Dimension, which is what I didn't have until about 10 seconds ago. Roll credits. Anyway, so yeah, he's left. Okay. Uh, so he took 90% of my cut. So yeah, I'm so, so rich. But I have unlocked uh, jobs now. I can now do jobs. Now, of course, these jobs are going to be difficult. And they have changed how things work again. So scouting is the more dangerous. Forensics you want to start off by collecting signs and obviously slowly getting your gear better. Right now, we don't have much. So yeah, right now we don't have much. This is my gear. So, yeah. I'm just going to do these things. Figure out where stuff fits. There is an edge to the map. And sorry, get off. I will be doing a harder mission as well. Although I would love to have a shotgun to do that one. Or at least a pistol. So I may switch one of my other characters just to show that off. Now of course, it's changed how it works. So before, you had to find basically signs and markers coming from windows and things. Which obviously was a little bit difficult. Because obviously how the houses are randomised, they're like built from tiles. So now you have to find corpses. Look at the ammo's cheap. Ah, oh, look at Got yet. Oh my god. Every time. I'm not, a f I'm not a fan of these new alarms they've added in the house. So yeah, we're looking for corpses. Which you'd imagine should be quite difficult in most regular places, but no. They're everywhere. Look, like I say, ammo is like $6 for like 200 rounds. So you don't have to feel bad using it. Hey, is anyone here? This is how you find signs. Now, before you didn't need to do this, it was literally a big circle in front of you, which you could just find things. This is very different. Oh, bad timing. But yeah, if you die, you, you do start again. Another one. Reload. But I will be switching to another hunter just to show things. Oh my god. Ok, 
Okay, so we're coming to the job, you can just check it, you can see what's going on. As you can see, there should be two signs. That's all we're after. So you find corpses, or I start searching with that. It's dangerous. Because as you see, things attack you. And spectres are unhappy. The poltergeists are coming. I haven't seen any markings on the floor. Is that my blood? Anything at all. So yeah, you do have to explore, you have to hunt. There are multiple different weapons and equipment in the game. Obviously, I'm very much shotgun focused at this point in time because that's all I can afford. That's the final one. Now, you can just leave without completing the job and just, you know, sell the, the signs. But you just won't get as much. There we go. And now we leave, as fast as our legs can carry us, because I'm already getting chills. And then we switch to my other one, where I now have to follow this all over the place and find new things. And that's how you do it. And then there's a woman who will help you figure out why you're tagged and marked. And that's how you complete a job. Seven dollars to get anything for the extermination. And let's switch to my other character. So this one is still relatively low rank. I, um, I've just done a load of the basic missions. I have some better armor. I have a double barrel shotgun, a better pistol, some boots. I also carry a bit of equipment and a nail gun because nail guns are free. But yeah, same kind of thing. Just doing the same kind of missions. Obviously just a bit better gear so I can show you a level two, which is now changed will probably scare me. Any more 12 gauge buckshot. Okay. Hundred rounds. Now start hunting in a safe house. So this is scouting. You have to find all the signs and correctly deduce what's in there. It doesn't like that. It really doesn't like that. Old house. Oof. And you get interference with these tendrils. Which obviously coming from the shadow realm. That's clear. So this guy has a, a ability which makes um well megalopede, which makes all the things he gets slightly more expensive. So I can get rarer signs, I have to get more money. Look at that, I have a shotgun. Damn tendrils. Wait. Can I have a torch anymore? Oh, it's five now. Okay. Scanner one slot. Scanner... Is that what they're now called? Is my old gear just called something weird? And, and any one of these rooms is the Poltergeist main room. Also, it will come out and play on the higher difficulties. On the lower difficulties, it is content to be in its room and attack you when you come in. On the higher difficulties, it will play with you and you have to catch it and kill it. You have to deploy traps and equipment and weapons and it gets really creepy. I've never got one. So I haven't found any corpses yet. Luckily, this now actually has a use, so tendrils now interfere significantly more. Whoa, 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 it's throwing stuff at me! Ah! Found the room. Oh my god. Okay. That's here. It's in the room next door. 
Oh, cool. The poltergeist has scared me through a cabinet at me. Where is it here? Here somewhere. But yeah, you have to find the signs, not be killed by the, the poltergeist, figure out what the hell it is, avoid cryptids. Maybe it is here. Okay, there's the ectoplasm, it came from the wall, murdered this guy. You went this way? You can see the shimmering? That's not the light. There's something in here. The shimmering is the spectre and the poltergeist moving about. And also, because signs of things can go through walls, you have to figure out where the hell is Carbon San Diego. So it's just there. I'm not finding it, it's literally just here. Is it stuck in the wall? Is it glitched? It's definitely in this room. Oh god, please stop doing that ghost. And obviously when you're doing this, you're very weak to being hit by everything. I'll come back to this last. See, it's changed a lot of things. I don't like it. Oh, wait a minute, that's a corpse. Ah, crap, it's in here. Don't throw anything. So yeah, that just leads it, looks like it just leads it to the room now. So that means it's somewhere in here. It's definitely leading to this room. Where on earth is it? And that's the game. Avoid the spectre, kill all the evil things, don't die. into this room. Where on earth is it? And usually it helps you a bit more than this, but obviously it's made it a bit more difficult. Stop searching and you can't stop a search halfway through. So if you hear noises and things, you have to deal with it. So you have to clear. Oh my god, and it gets creepier and creepier. But yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been a look at Hellside, which has updated. Oh, please don't kill me in here. Updated, and now it's changed a lot. This room. There's something in here, isn't there? There it is! Oh my god, spiders! Yeah, Hell Sign, recommend picking it up. If you want a ghost hunting game, get it. It's in here somewhere. Definitely get it. It's more combat focused, but you still have to hunt, you have to explore, and you have to figure out what the hell is trying to kill you. Oh, there's the evidence, and so now that's a blood beast, it's probably a banshee then. However, I haven't got all the evidence, but yeah, this has been the, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been... Hell sign. Oh my god, I just need two more. Ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic. Here? Oh god, a doll. And I will be see. I want that final piece. Let me leave. Maybe it's in here. So yeah, exploring. 
The spectre's getting upset with me. I can hear it getting upset. There's more noise than there should be. Also, occasionally you'll find the ghost lights. Well, they used to be ghost lights. Like, fallen spirits. They used to, like, affect your light. It's kind of cool. And there's the final piece. Oh god, I hate those things. The noises in the atmosphere is really good. I think the battery's also been up for this 100%. That's pretty good. And there may have been a little glitch. Because the writing just goes into this wall here and then disappears. Either way, yeah, ciao for now. Oh! And then we have to figure out what it is without it killing me. I should do this outside. I want to be outside. Yeah! Ooh. And now we have to figure this out. So this is ectoplasm. So you have to figure out that's OO on, which is... That one. It is ethereal. Which makes it a shadow. Oh, I've never had a shadow before. And now we leave. And that's how you figure out what it is. So now I know it's a shadow. If I was going to be killing it, I'd be deploying stuff against a shadow. However, I'm just finding things out. $65, right one. Excellent, and $100 worth of signs. And that's how you make your money, and now I can buy a better gun. Be awesome, be epic, and I will be seeing you next time. Screw you, ghosts.